we have feedback or anything at all. What do we think? Yes? <laughs> do you want to come and sit here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Awesome. Why was it awesome, Bob? Anything else about it? So it looks professional, yes? I thought the fact that there was no um, diegetic sort of dialogue or speech in the whole thing was that's quite it made it a bit more spooky mm -hmm. with the music all the way through and the chase. It made it a bit more mysterious. Yes. Um, and like I feel like you really got tracked in. Because there was no yeah, you don't have to have dialogue, do you know, like to, really to really engage an audience. You know, if it's done like that, it, it's, uh, sometimes dialogue can bring it down rather than actually improve it, make it better. Yeah, I think you agree. It's, it's lovely, and that transaction works without dialogue. It's kind of, you know, you want to know what's being said. You want to know what's going on and why, because you can't hear anything. It's purely the imagination. Okay, genre. What would you say that was and why? I'd say that could be, that could maybe be a horror as well, couldn't it? But without like a super, uh, supernatural element, it yeah. could be a horror. Just, cause Just explain music. why. That, absolutely. Why do you think that? Because she's, she's so isolated, the music, the, the location, they all just add to it. Yes, sure. And you, again, you're not sure why, what, what's happening to her. Yeah. Um, who that guy, the black, uh, person is the dark fidget figure. Yes, yeah, sorry. That's what I was going to say. It's just that you don't. You see who the main character is, and you see, I presume you're giving him money or some yeah. form of that. But you don't actually see who this character is, which really creates an even because you want to know who he is and you want to know what's happened between you two to see why it is resolved and what it has resolved into. And that character how has that character presented? Gone because we've talked about it. What do they do in terms of mise en scène to create that to reinforce that enigma? And the camera work actually. You just said you don't see his face. Yeah, he's like, he's like really dark. He's really dark guy. So you obviously you focus on Jess more when you do anything because that's you. You presume she's the main character. She's the first thing you see in the camera. Mm -hmm. That's the last thing in the background that you don't really focus on. Sure. So you don't really see him or know who he is. So that's that's the horror. But what else could it be as well? Because of that strong I sense of enigma. It could be thriller. Yes. Um, or maybe even an action because. Um, the fact that we so something's obviously happened um, um, with the money, so someone's been paid or something, mm -hmm. so it might be like an action or a thriller, right. um, more than a horror, I think. So not not necessarily a psychological thriller, but a thriller. Yeah. I know. Or a horror. What is it? Mm -hmm. it yeah, it's a thriller. It is a thriller. I think for myself, it, it comes across more as a thriller. But I take your point absolutely. Seeing as what we've just discovered. Uh, discussed about the previous one, the sat that's in the same location, the dark carriage and the alleyway and the chase. It, could, it has got elements of that perhaps. Yeah. Um, anything else about it? So, we, it's a thriller. What do they do to reinforce that? The dark character, the action itself, the payoff. Um, um, technically, it looks like it's been edited um, colour-wise. It looks like darker than probably what it actually was in the day, which makes it more mysterious. Mysterious, yeah, absolutely. It's sort of that. Um, so now we talked about the editing. Let's, let's, what about the chase? Okay, what you do, I think, is some wonderful, subtle, uh, subtle editing in that chase sequence. Well, I think because she turns around and sees him and then she runs away and the next thing you see is her running away but he's already really close to her. So you, uh -huh. you can almost tell that he's going to get her. What about the sound? How do they use the kind of sound to actually reinforce that? What don't they do necessarily? They don't change the music. 
No, it's very subtle, isn't it? It does change, as it gets, that's right, isn't it? As it gets closer, but it's a very subtle. You, you don't have that kind of classic dum 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 is my impression, please don't have that. <laughs> but you don't have that, it's a much more, it's, and that's what you think you're saying, it's so professional, it's very subtle. There's some lovely moments in there, you work really hard to create that sound of a, a professionalism. It's, it's really well done. Yeah. Um, the only thing that really confused me was that she turned around and was straight away she started running. Right. I don't know. See, obviously, later like, on, you could have explained that there was a relationship between that person and the one being chased, but I didn't understand why she ran straight away. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's some sort of... So she must recognise it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, what about the titles? Use of titles. Was it, yeah. Does that reinforce the genre as well? Was that kind of within the expectation um, of... Yeah, I think it kind of gave it, again, like, along with the colour editing, um, it gave it more of a mysterious, sort of spooky, Sure. Um, yeah. yeah, good. And the way that, like, it says in the eyes of the storm, presents and whatever, that sort of, the way you presented that, I would associate that with the film like Paranormal Activity or something, yeah. just the video camera and the sound and like, the way it comes up on the screen. And the, uh, so the big screen, as opposed to TV. Yeah. Quite a lot of point of view shots and the camera was sort of as um, they would see it in the moment. It sort of dragged you in even more. Yeah. Good. Target audience? So I'm, I'm just pushing on a little bit. We'll come back to some of it. Who, who would you target right. audience be? What well, age range? From your research, do you think? 15 and plus. Again. 15 and plus. Okay, was that your, was that your intention? Yeah. 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 yeah I, don't, I don't think we'd make it 18. Just no. It's like thrillers generally aren't kind of like massively gory or like nudity and stuff like that. Okay. Social groups, particular social groups being represented here. Gender, groupings, well, where do we go? Well, um, the male got obviously chasing the female, so females were like sort of the less superior out of the two. Okay, um, less strong physically yeah, as well. Yeah, and the fact that she got caught shows that the males are obviously like stronger. Mm -hmm. um, and then the fact that they were doing it sort of for money, so it would have been for a living. So it, it seemed like he's not your, the person who was doing the chasing was not your average, no. like, working day person. He's a professional guy. hitman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Possibly, then, but we don't actually know what's in there, do we? Yeah. We don't see the money, so we don't know. There's mm. even an enigma about that, but absolutely, that's a, that's a possibility. That's what it seems to suggest, isn't it? Um, anything else about social groupings? What about the person who deals the money or hands over the thing? What does he look like? What is, in terms of he's on saying, where's the, what's the meaning represented in him? Is there any? Is it the right one? Is it clear? Yeah. It's like the type of person who won't do anything to get his hands dirty with money. He'll rather pay other people to do yeah. it than, what, yeah. than he would himself. So obviously, he's got a lot of money, so he has a lot of power over people with his money. Did he look happy? No. Did he look pleased with the, with the fact that the thing had been done? No. It seems like wasn't jumping up and down with joy, is it? Connection between Joe and Jess. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. I felt I felt like he was maybe the husband or yeah. boyfriend. Right. And she'd done like something that. to Yeah. Maybe he was like a rich, powerful gangster yeah. and then she'd sort of betrayed him or mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Yeah. Because you well most of you would know the location was the same, do you think the audience would if they were watching this? No. No, it looks like a completely different place, yeah. really. Okay. Just by the, the colour and stuff like that, yeah. it just looks different. Good. Because for me, it's a, it's a big issue. Um, the, the fact that I know that's another corner of that location, but you don't think the audience would necessarily register that at all. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you want it to be the same location, or did you want it to be somewhere else? I thought it had like a good sort of, like the whole lighting and everything, it's quite good in the surrounding areas, and it's all rugged. Right, so it's you chose. But you weren't intending to be close to where the... Yeah, now. it's pretty grey around that area as well, it's like yeah. grey buildings. Okay, good. Yeah, I yeah. just did, like, made it a bit lighter, just so it's a whole different area. Okay. Different yeah, yeah. Okay, anything else? We want to, yeah, Bob. Um, I thought the only strange thing about it was um, how she stopped in an alley. Like, if you were being chased by someone, you wouldn't really stop. Why would you stop? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of run out into like, where yeah. people are rather than stop. Is there a reason for that? Did you want that deliberately to be the case? Because well, I agree with you, that's, you expect it to keep going, don't you? Yeah. You need to catch it. The way you see the alley, it's all dark, and there's like the light at the end of the tunnel, which is like salvation. 
Right. So maybe like run out of breath or something. Because we got we got like heavy breathing on it, so it's like run out of breath. She almost gave up. She thought, yeah, she thought she might be away, but she wasn't. I don't know. So nice transitions. There's nice use of editing. You're going from one to the other. You keep us constantly engaged. There's just enough information for us to want to know a bit more. And you bring titles in, and you know the, the diegetic and non-diegetic work really well. Um, the only thing I think you think about, personally, was that last shot when he looks across to the person walking away. I wonder if you want to look at the speed of that slightly. It's very shaky, but that's his eye line, isn't it? Is that right? Um, is, it, is that supposed to be a that subjective? That's supposed or? to be a camera, but then right, okay. really why she'd have done was just had another camera angle of him just walking away. I wonder if you want to play around with the pace of that. I don't know, because it's shaky, perhaps you can't. Um, I also think that instead of looking at your watch and getting the money out, I think you should have a point of view shot of you looking at the man and then getting the money out rather than looking at your watch. Or yeah. the person who wants yeah. to be. Yeah, and it gives you the money. You know? Yeah, but that's what it just give that little bit of a steering. Yeah, the yeah. edge. Plus, then we would yeah, it's because then it's like. The thing is, you don't know, like, if the guy's murdered her or kidnapped her. No, or like, sure, yeah, and what it's done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's just something about that, that movement across to the killer. Or whoever, whatever he's done to her, it's just a bit, the pace of that could be a little I, bit slower. We know where it's going, but you just tease us a little I, bit more. I thought, firstly, that the last shot was actually a point of view shot from someone hiding, so you could play around with that. It obviously wasn't. Yeah, it was Oh, see, I thought it was uh, like a point of view shot of someone looking and then following the guy right. and looking at him from behind. So, okay, have you got any questions? I didn't ask this for you. You, you should have had an opportunity really to ask some of your own questions. But um, if you have, if there's anything you want to ask them, please do so. But you, is there anything you want to add mm. and ask them about that you intended you didn't actually get a chance? Oh. I just thought that did the age of the actors make it less realistic? Mm. I think Jess looks sort of older than yeah. she is in that film, and then so does the guy, because we don't see the guy with the dark hair. He looks um, quite old by yeah. his height and how skinny yeah, he is. Yeah, his height's a big yeah. factor, isn't it? No, I don't think that fits. No, no. Cool. Do you want to ask a question, Tom? Okay, thank you very much. We'll leave it there today.